Hey and welcome back. In this video we're going to take a look how to take one tile, just one tile, and create a random pattern for like uh, just a tile. So basically it's going to be the same one but just we're going to have a way to turn it around. So what we have here, we have just uh, just one, uh, like uh, we have here uh, a surface with uh, one tile on it. You can see it's the same one repeatedly and here we just have uh, one tile and it's three by three. So this is the tile okay um what we're going to do now uh in order to really see the difference what we're going to do we're going to change it for uh, to a sample that says tile now we can really see how this works and we're going to open the interactive render so now we can see here how the interactive render and we're going to open the v-ray um asset editor so here we have the tile, the image, and uh, the just uh, sample. Uh, I'm just going to sample this like that. And you can see I have here under the diffuse, I have this tile texture. So if I go to the settings of the tile texture, under texture, pl texture placement, I have here 2D UV channel. And I want to change that to a mapping source. And uh, here um, under the mapping source, I'm going to choose here and I'm going to uh, we're going to choose UV placement. So we have here this option and what we want to choose is the randomize. Under the, ram the randomize there is the st stochastic styling, I'm not sure how to say it, but uh, once we turn it on you can see here we have this um, um, basically a, 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 it's like it makes a new pattern with my tile. And we have a different video how to create like a unique from like a ground or something random. But here we want the tile. We want the same one. So it's a little bit of a mess. Uh, so let's start. We have the blend mode. So basically the blend mode is on the edge where they connect to one to each other. In this case we don't need the blend modes because we want the, like the small tile of the, the grout of each tile. So we want to keep the no blend mode. And under the offset, so we're just going to cancel offset, so we're going to say from 1 to 1, and same on the U, and same on the V. And what we want here is basically to take a look on the rotation. So now basically it's on the step steps number 0, so that's like kind of random. So if we put 1, basically it's uh, the way I understand it, it's basically it's rotated one time so uh, randomly one run one time so basically it doesn't do anything you can see it's the same thing like we have in the preview but let's say if we change it to two so basically it's gonna randomly rotate it two directions so we have a few that goes this way and a few that goes this way and same on three will just mess it up this again but four four are gonna randomly rotate it three ways so you can see i have some tiles this way some tiles this way some tiles this way some tiles this way and this is kind of random and if you want to play with the randomness of this so you have here the seed and if you're just gonna play around with the seed you can see we get different options okay so now when we got the idea basically what we can do is change the map that we have to our tiles and uh, this is my tile so now you can see we get like a random texture that each one of them is on a different direction so I did a sample rendering of a kitchen and here with the same floor so you can see here the like on this side of the render you can see this all the tiles are in the same direction and if we see the other one you can see it randomized this here and it's a subtle on this style it's it's kind of subtle but like when you have a large space or something like that you definitely will uh, feel the difference so thank you for watching please like and subscribe and if that helped you so just uh, put a comment th thumbs up it helps the video and I'll see you on the next one